time, there seems to be a pursuit of love, a loss of love, but a pursuit of love. Uh, and I wonder if you could elaborate a little bit on that and your thoughts on that. Yeah, I don't think that I kind of realized um, that I was doing this at first. I think anytime you're writing a, a multi-generational family or family novel, um, you know, the characters have to have babies. And so the idea of like introducing ro romantic relationships, I think, comes pretty naturally. Um, but thinking about each of the short stories or the, the chapters that make up this book as these little love stories, I think was really was really helpful to me to kind of understand what the propulsive element was in this family, the thing that allows them to continue to strive to survive um, even after all of these um, all of these traumatic situations in their life. Um, the first person that I shared the the first draft with um, as a completed whole is my thesis advisor um, at the University of Iowa, where I was getting my MFA. And she she said, you know, I think these are all love stories, um, and it really kind of changed the way that I was thinking about um, about about the writing process. And so I went into the other drafts trying to kind of bring out um, what it was that um, these characters loved. Um, and it's not, I mean, romantic love is not always it, you know, for some of these characters, romantic love is a site of, of deep pain. Um, and so there, there are other forces at work too, but I wanted love to, again, just be the, the propeller.